I just installed retractable sunshades in our Model Y and they are awesome. Now it's summer and the heat is here, so I thought today is a great day to finally do this install. But first, here's a little info about these before we dive in. A company called EV Base sent these out to me. They fit all Model Ys from 2020 through 2023 and Model 3s from 2017 to 2023. The main difference is the Model Y is a one piece and the Model 3 are two different pieces. They are selling for $399, but using my code CFTESLA, you can save an additional 15% on top of that, bringing it down to $339.15. They come with a brand new one year warranty and are refundable within 30 days to a United States warehouse. Now in terms of unboxing, inside the box you get the frame which comes full Folded. You get two different mounting bars, a couple screws, and some white gloves to wear when you're putting on the cover at the end to make sure it doesn't get dirty. My first thought was just how light the frame was. It feels like some kind of light aluminum. It comes with two crossbars, a long one that goes in the front, which I found out by using a translation app, and a shorter one that goes in the back. On the bottom of them is Velcro, which will be used to attach the cover at the end. There are extra screws in the bag, but most of the screws are already in the crossbars, which we will be removing later. Those screws will eventually attached to the small tabs in the main frame at each end of the four corners. Now, if this is the first time you're stumbling into my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, if you're having a good time, please do me a favor to scroll down right now while I'm talking, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you know when other installs and full south drive other content comes out. And if you're having a good time, the best way to help me out and support the channel is with a thumbs up. So I appreciate you guys. Let's get back to the install. For the first part of this install, you use the two small little black screws to lock the frame together. I was glad to see the small screws went into actual actual nuts and not screwed into plastic so there was no risk of stripping it out. Now I will mention that this install requires no special tools, no manipulation of the car, no screwing holes anywhere or anything like that and you could take this completely out of the car and have the car right back to the normal status and never know something was ever in there. So very very minimal risk of damage. Next I put the rear smaller brace in place in the back. This is done by sliding the small tabs into the space between the trim and the glass. Some cars have larger gaps than others but you can work it in there. To make sure it was straight I just laid underneath to give it the old eyeball check. You want to make sure it is far back as far as you can get it, but you'll be able to move it around a little bit later once you're trying to install the frame. Do the same thing for the front with a larger cross support. For me, I had a lot less room in the front and it was a lot harder to get it in there, but eventually I got it just with a little bit of pressure. Next, remove the four screws you will use to connect the frame to these crossbars and put them somewhere you can reach them. Next, I opened my trunk and laid down my rear seat so I would have lots of room to fight this through. I would recommend a second person to help you with this part, but for for me, I was by myself, so you guys gotta watch me fight this through. Also, I should mention that there might be a front and back to this frame. I couldn't see any markings anywhere clarifying that, so I just kind of put it in whichever way, and it was just fine. The challenging part is you don't want to ruin the blinds by resting them on the seat or something like that, nor do you want to scratch your seats by resting the Velcro that's on the bottom of the frame on them. So again, two people would have been nice. I decided the best method was to loosely put in the front two screws, loosely leaving room for me to move the frame around without bending or snapping anything. Once I did this to both of the screws, then became the hard part. Getting myself to reach the rear screws without lowering the frame too low and again bending or ruining something. After trying multiple methods to get into the back seat without dropping the frame and completely failing, I decided on just riding the back of my seat down and stretching out where I was able to reach the screws. From there I just tightened all four screws and the frame was done. Now the frame felt pretty solid in there but I'll certainly be telling my kids there's no hanging from it. This led to the last step of putting on the gloves and fitting on the cover. And of of course, in true Cody fashion, I did this wrong the first time. The front is wider than the back, but it's kind of hard to see, so if you find it not really fitting, just flip it around and it'll fit. Then I got to try it for the first time, and yeah, I was happy. So here are my thoughts on this product and install. First, the pros. The whole setup is light and very easy to work with. The shades glide smoothly both ways and stick together well when closed. You can very easily feel the heat when you put your hand under the glass versus under the shade. The shade feels very well engineered and certainly does what it claims. I'm able to reach both the front and the back shade from the driver's seat. The cover blends very well and even though it comes with a crease from shipping, it really isn't noticeable. Now for the cons, if you can call it that, and really I can only think of one thing. And that is that you lose a little bit of your panoramic view. You will lose about 5 inches on each side, so 10 inches total there, and 7 inches on the front and 7 inches on the back. Now maybe that's not a big deal for you, 
and maybe you feel the benefits of this outweigh the fact you're losing a little bit of that panoramic view. But if you're looking for something to nag about on these, I guess that was it. But let me know your thoughts on this one down below in the comments. As always, for more information and my discount code, I'll put in below this video in the description as well as pinned to the top of the comment section. And I will see you guys on the next video.